A drive on Jinja Highway is the magnificent green cover, and indeed to one, you would think the forest cover hovers over the area. The dense, lovely greenery of Mawira Forest, impressing upon the traveller that the beautiful jungle is impenetrable. However, that is the outward picture of the entire story. Inside this beauty are illegal activities that threaten the very existence of the rich natural tropical forest. Degradation of this particular forest has been attributed to the increasing population, high demand for charcoal, and the quest for land for agriculture, among others. A government report has revealed that the country's forest cover has dropped to 9%, representing a 3% drop in just two years. In 2015, a joint water and environment sector review report put the country's forest cover at 11%, but in the 2017 review released, indicated that the country forest cover now stands at 9%. But what would be the problem? Indeed, the increasing population, the high demand for charcoal, and the quest for land for agriculture has led to the degradation of the entire area. Now stakeholders including NEMA, National Forest Authority, are in a drive to restore the prestigious heritage. The entire nation that has come up to say enough is enough, let us walk with the talk, let us stop talking and do the restoration. And that's why we are here to plant this forest to restore Mabira Forest. So far, the drive targets a lot of trees to be planted. The American telecom company is among those committed to restoring the degraded environment. HCC Uganda is privileged to partner with a, a friend and counterpart, NEMA, as well as NFA. Our commitment to environmental sustainability is one that we have put hearts and minds towards. Every year, we commit to planting at least five to 10,000 seedlings of trees. Last year, we, we, we planted about uh, 30,000 trees, and this year we've started with 5,000 in partnership with NFA and NEMA. ATC Uganda is committed to minimizing its environmental impact and embraces shared infrastructure model to reduce its ecological footprint. Environmental sustainability is very important to us. What we committing to Ugandans is to provide renewable energy for every tower that we construct. Every tower right now is powered by solar, is powered by grid, is powered by new technology like lithium-ion batteries, and we're walking away from using uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Despite the degradation, Mabira Forest stands tall as the biggest forest cover in Uganda. Ngabo Amon. Reporting for Ibis TV.